What's up, internet peeps? Got a lot going on today. Actually, got a lot going on for the next week. Right now, I'm about to load up the kid and um, take some gear down to Mia down in Norman. She's got a, a film shoot for work or school. Film shoot for school this week, and she needs to borrow some stuff. Before we do that, we got to take my wife some lunch. And all of this comes to a culmination of me packing up whatever's left in my gear because we are going on a little road trip starting this evening and we will not be back for a week. Woo! Anyway, here we go! Most of our chores done. Uh, we've got a few more errands we need to run, but otherwise, we're about ready to leave whenever mommy gets off work and gets home. Got a few more things to pack. Got to run to the store and get some travel snacks because it's a 10 hour drive. Um, yeah, she'll get home. We'll load the car. We'll run to the store and we'll be out of here. We're going to Finish feeding the boy, go run a couple of errands, then she'll be off work and we'll get all that done. No. So uh, we'll see you guys on the road. Hey, do you want to know my new favorite feature of this car? Yeah. Okay, so I'm a mom and on road trips, sometimes it can be difficult to reach those snacks that you know will calm the demon inside of your child. Check this out. Apparently we have a demon child. I didn't know about this. There's a drawer. Underneath the seat. Please don't be a bad memory card. So what now? About a demon child? I don't actually know if that... My wife has a favorite feature of the car because we have a demon child. That is not what I said. What I said was, is that sometimes on road trips it can be difficult to get to snacks that will soothe the demon inside of your child when they're hungry. I get it. He takes after me in that way. I get really, I get a little cray cray when I'm hungry. So there's this awesome drawer underneath the passenger side where we can stash snacks to hand him. It's the snack stash drawer. It's awesome. I love this car. I love this car, thank you. I didn't buy her this car. She's bought it for herself. I'm just the conduit by which the credit was obtained uh, anyway here we go couple errands to run gotta run to the post office have to run to the store pick up some snack and beverage items for the trip and then uh, we are off to watch the GH5 not be able to focus still man if you guys haven't seen the new Sony a7 III I want one really bad I'm thinking about selling this camera and my GH4 and my Canon to buy two Sony a7 III's because autofocus in things is ridiculous. They're full frame, 4K, shoot 120 FPS and 1080p. It's everything I want in a camera except for a flip out screen, which I don't know why Sony can't get their crap together and put a stupid flip out screen on a camera. But yeah, debating selling all this stuff to get two of those because man. Full frame, that's what's up. And it's mirrorless, so it's not really any bigger than the GH5. I'm a little worried about the battery life uh, because the GH4's battery life will last all day. And anyway, whew, gonna get off on a tangent. All right, I will see you guys on the road. <laughs> So, baby, what happened? Uh, we've made it a whole five minutes outside of town. Actually, we're not even out of town. Ten minutes from the house, and the roof rack fell off the car. <laughs> the whole roof rack. Like, the bars. <laughs> the whole thing. 
Thanks, Walmart. Thanks. That's what we get for not going and buying the actual Buick cross beams. Thankfully, we had a really, really nice, because this happened on the highway. Um, our stuff just fell. We, uh, we were able to pull over to the shoulder and get our things out of the middle of the road. And thankfully, a very, very nice highway patrolman stopped, got behind us, made sure we were okay, actually helped us put the things in the car that we needed to get in the car that were on the roof. He actually carried our... Uh, baby gate here and got us to a nearby parking lot and off the highway so that we were safer so that was pretty cool one bad looking either <laughs> of course <laughs> I'm so well I'm not sorry I'm not sorry he was cute something really neat to note is the kiddo hasn't woken up once <clears throat> okay, so it looks like the the GH5, I, I use the custom memory settings so that I can switch between slow-mo and not slow-mo. Um, it looks like whenever I'm using the custom memory settings, it is changing its record format mid-record. So I have it set to 4K60 for C1, and it's switching it to like 1080p 24 randomly on its own. I I don't understand why. I gotta do some research on that. However, you GH5 users, if you use the custom memory settings, that could be an issue. It apparently is an issue for me. Ah, oh, annoying. We've officially made it to uh, Denver, Colorado to Audrey's aunt's house. So we're going to go in here and hang out and visit and take our stuff in and, you know, be social. I think we're supposed to have pizza tonight for dinner and I don't know, but, um, I don't know that there'll be any other vlogs this week. It kind of depends on whether or not Mia gets around to doing some uploads or anything like that. We're just going to try and hang out and, uh, enjoy being here. Plus, I don't know what the internet's like or anything else, so we'll just have to see. I'm definitely going to be shooting some footage, though. Later this week, I fly out to South Carolina to photograph a wedding for a friend. Uh, so, it's going to be a busy, crazy week where I'm probably not going to be around the computer much, except for doing what work I've got to get done. So, anyway, hit subscribe to the channel, share us with your friends, come check us out on Patreon if you want to download any of the music uh, that, that I've written or support us or whatever. Uh, also check out the merch shop and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.